Starting the video off with making coffee? Oh, you know we're gonna have a day today. First, have y'all ever seen this before? Like, this is dishwashing liquid, but you spray it. You ever spray your dishwashing? My dad be buying the weirdest things, bro, I'm telling you. Dudes, 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 I'm so excited. Oh my goodness, we got something amazing. Listen, I'm when I tell you, I cannot contain the amount of excitement I have. Let's watch this. Oh, the things that are in these boxes, dude. The things that are in these boxes. I know y'all like, what, Key? What? Show us, show us. So I had to open. This thing is taped up. You can see all that tape. I opened it up. I haven't, I mean, we ain't get into it yet. Oh, we ain't get into it yet, but I opened it up. All right, let's see. Let's see it. Oh my goodness. I cannot wait. Oh my goodness. My, come on, stop playing with me. Dang, they packaged this thing up nice, man. I mean, shout out. Thank you for not like making my thing be able to break, but I can't break into it. Oh, I got to really like, hold on. Oh my God. Oh, look at her. Look at her. Oh my, it's been months. A year, actually. It's been a year. My very first video I was filming with, well, my very first video on the main channel, I was filming with this video, with this camera, not this video, my very, on the main channel, I was filming my very first video with this camera. And then as I'm walking down the stairs, you can see how it like lips down, it, it like goes down like this. So I'm walking down right here, boop, crack my bing bing, my head. Boom, I was holding my camera in my hand. Camera falls out my hand. And I've been using my phone to record every single video on both my main channel and this channel ever since. A whole year. So having my baby back in my hand again feels oh so good. Dang, dude, look at this. Like, is this brand new? Like, look at it's got everything. Look, oh my goodness. It's in the in the like the little saran. No, this ain't saran. What is it? I don't know what this is, but it's still a oh. Oh, look at her. Oh, it's so beautiful. I'm going to cry. Look at that screen. I think I just put those fingerprints on there. Dude, beautiful, gorgeous, perfect, amazing. Wait, Key, if that was the camera, what's in this box? Well, my people, let me tell you. This one is a shout out to Soda City Flips because what's in this box, I did not know existed until they told me. And I don't even think, I don't know if they watch my videos or not. If you do, Soda, shout out to you. If this thing is fire, I love you. If it sucks, I hate you. I opened it up and I saw it peeking, so I had to bust out the camera. Like I said before, I didn't know this thing existed. And this is, ugh, this is the Sony ECM G1 and as you can see it goes right on it's a microphone it's a mic for um our the Sony cameras this thing goes for about $150 I think new or used I don't know I remember seeing prices on eBay for 150 bucks I saw somebody else with the listing on eBay of like either new or like basically new because this looks sealed I don't know it's I don't know it looks like it's not used I don't know we're gonna have to open it up to see but they had it listed for like $110 or best offer so I sent in an offer that made after shipping a hundred dollars flat and to my surprise they actually accepted it i did not think they would accept that offer at all but we got this for a hundred dollars shipped look at this comes in this little fancy baggy oh oh did i break it okay no we're good where is it at oh it's the side oh oh i was hoping it had a oh that's amazing i did not think it was gonna come with a dead cat i thought i was gonna have to buy one that is amazing oh i actually forgot to mention that i sold the sony what was that thing dshx80 something like that i sold that camera if y'all saw i think it was the last vlog that i bought that camera um i sold that for 350 bucks and then i bought this one for i want to say like 420 dollars somewhere around there look at is it supposed to be like shaky like that? I don't know. Whatever. As long as it doesn't fall off, that's what matters to me. Look at my baby. Now, the thing I don't know is, is this thing supposed to be plugged into the camera itself directly? Or is there like, is this chip what connects the camera to the microphone? I have no idea. So it's time to do a test. All right, here we go. This is the test just to see. We're going to woo, woo, woo. I put it on uh, 60 frames, uh, 1080i. I don't know the difference between 1080i and 1080p, to be honest with you. But uh, this is really just a, for a visual and a sound test. How we sound, sound, sound how we sounding? That sounded great to me, to be honest. But now I'm going to... Uh... 
uh, take the dead cat off and plug. The, see, it wouldn't make sense for me to have to take because the dead cat is there to stop wind, which means that it would need to go on while I'm outside. And the way the, the mic, you see the mic out. You see that little thing right there, the white letters that says mic out. And I, I won't be able to put the dead cat on while this is plugged into my, I don't know. We're going to see it. We'll, we'll just see how it goes. You know, it just dawned on me that some of y'all probably watching this and yelling at your monitors like, yo, Key, no, that's not how it goes. That's not how it works. You idiot. Yeah, partially, but also like I know of cameras. I'm not like a camera guru or nothing like that. I'm just trial and error, lesson learned. Okay, yeah, it sounds way better when it plugged in, but it looks like foolish. Like, look, I gotta, maybe, I, I think there's a better way to get it over. Maybe I gotta get it over it. It looks kind of silly, but this is what works. And with that, I am officially, let me turn some light on here. Ooh, I am officially no longer using my phone. How do I say goodbye to what we had? The good times that made us laugh are we and bad. We've been making some really good progress over here, dude. All of this stuff right here is all recycling. All of it is done. This right here is stuff that needs to be listed. All of this right here is going back to the storage unit. You see this bucket right here? I mentioned in a previous video how my sister has a cleaning slash organization business. And so I hired her to clean like my controllers and wires and stuff like that. So she's coming back. She did, I don't know if she did these. I think she might be coming back for these. So I know everything in this bucket is done. So I think this, this, and then these is, um, needs to be clean and then that's it hiring her company was like one of the best decisions that I made because while she was cleaning all this stuff which takes hours especially by myself I was over there working on like my videos I was getting stuff organized separating and all that Th that was a genius idea so now all of this stuff needs to go to the storage unit this is all stuff that's been listed already this sold oh I want to talk about this sell later sale sell sale and this bag as well you can see this is all stuff that needs to just be put away it's already been listed and since this bag is like no we're here near full before i leave here i'm probably gonna take pictures of more stuff and add to the inventory and then that'll be like it i finally dude ever since i bought that thousand dollar pickup i this like whole section of this floor has been filled up with all my stuff but soon this this will be gone all of this will be gone this is like i said earlier is trash this is also a box of trash just like a bucket so literally everything all of this will be out of here and then just that needs to be listed it's been a long long journey but we are finally coming to the close of it the end of it and my silly butt started a whole new endeavor <laughs> I've been thinking about this for a little bit, to be honest, and I feel kind of bad not talking with y'all about it, but I wanted to, I've been wanting to expand beyond just video games and electronics and be able to pick up something on a more consistent flow. And all of reseller YouTube right now is talking about Poshmark, Macari, and all these other websites. And I'm like, dude, I just sell video games. Like, you can sell video games on Poshmark and you can sell video games on Macari, but none of that stuff really hits like eBay. Like, Macari, Poshmark, they're, they're high, like, Macari's more so like toys and stuff like that, um, which I kind of want to dive into as well. I feel like softlock games also can like mess around with toys as it does with cameras and and um, CD players and stuff like that. But Poshmark is primarily clothes. Like Poshmark, you're moving clothes. And my thing is I didn't want to take on something that would change or that I would need to add to my setup. Like for instance, I thought about doing jeans. Jeans I can pick up in the bulk. I can go to the bins. I can go to the thrift stores. I can get them easy, fast, and quick. But I don't have the setup to easily take pictures of jeans. I would have to like make, they're long. They can be long. So I would have to like get a whole new system i'd have to get a ruler i'd have to start pointing out flaws i gotta like blah 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 like stuff i'm not i don't want that sneakers is easy i mean the same thing goes for like clothes hoodies and all of that stuff you could pick it up fast 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 but sneakers is easy they're small compact they fit on my table i can take pictures of, of the sneakers just as i do of the video games and storing them is just as easy as well i got the racks the same ones that i use to store my video games i could use to store like you know a few pairs of sneakers 
as well. I went out yesterday to like three or four different thrift stores. Yesterday was Indigenous People's Day, by the way. So there was like sales happening at these thrift stores. I didn't bring my GoPro. I should have. Kind of dumb. These, so all of the ones in here, I want to like throw in the washing machine. But dude, most of y'all don't know this because I wasn't making content on it. But back in 2018, 2019, I was a thrift store clothing reseller heavily. So I had this favorite thrift store that I love going to. My honey hole, as the flat, fast talking flipper calls it. They have the craziest sales and deals there. It's insane. Every, every th This certain color, this particular color was like a dollar. So I got these for a dollar. A single dollar. I think I got one more pair too. Yeah, this pair right here. I got these are some ash boots. I got these for a dollar as well. I also made a completely separate eBay account for it. And I forgot how hard it is to get your first couple of sales on eBay. I also didn't realize how difficult it would be to try and find some like I know sneakers like Saucony's and stuff like that. But when it comes to the like, Allen Edmonds, I ain't no ash i don't know these brands i don't know these companies but they have some value before i do anything though i have got to start editing the video that's supposed to come out before this one also dude when i went sourcing for sneakers yesterday i saw this at one of my thrift stores it's a vcr dvd player recorder thing like i bought this for five dollars i watched the american tale yesterday while i was listing it was one of the best things ever someone please convince me not to keep this three hours later the last time y'all was here this place look completely different so let me give you the tour dude do you hear that it just started pouring raining out of nowhere so over here is an area that still needs to be worked on like this is kind of just like the bigs and smalls section like it still needs to be figured out right here wow it was really coming down right now and then y'all have already seen this this is like some ASMR type vibes. <laughs> and y'all have already seen this, but as you can see, we're pretty filled out to the point where we're actually bleeding over to the second rack now. And so I had to move the consoles down a bit just to make some room for them. And then over here, this is like the new area. As you can see, we got a bin for the PS1 AV, PS1 power, PS3 power, so on and so forth. And I'm gonna make more space for more bins because actually the what I have here doesn't fit everything that I need. I I still have like Wii accepts. The Wii honestly is OD and it's kind of, it's a little bit, um, What's the word I'm looking for? Overwhelming with the amount of Wii stuff. There's just too many accessories and stuff. And then down here, I have PS1, PS2, PS3, PS4. Like these are all the controllers, but as you can see, there's like no N64 controller. I have Wii, Wii U controllers, but there's no NES controller. So there's still quite a bit of organizing bins that I need to make this area a little bit better and more efficient. But what we have so far is so amazing and I'm so happy with it right now. So this is currently the state of the storage unit. The right side is like completely filled and looking great. And the left side is still empty, which is good because now I have space to put like more controllers or accessories or whatever else it is that I want to put over here. And I still have this rack here, but I've been thinking these racks are so easy to put together. There's no screws or anything involved. So I'm thinking about taking some of these like rack, like legit racks from them and putting them over here and custom sizing it so that it's about, yeah, about this much space in between each rack. So look, I'd be able to this, you see how much space is in between these two, like this right here. So boom, I can move this up. I can move that one up and then probably add like two to three more like racks in this one wait no shelves <laughs> two to three more shelves in this one rack is it a waste of money to do that with the rack i don't know maybe but it's also an option because you can't just buy the shelves by themselves unfortunately rack companies please sell your shelves individually we have 45 orders 45 i don't want to say for how much because i'm out in public but 45 bro our last highest order amount was 44 we have 45 we just hit a new record okay so i was thinking about this and honestly there's no way to do this that isn't like cheesy or just like kind of forced but i'm in my 30s i've been gaming since i was a little kid when i hear somebody say a new record all i can think about is yeah yes that now i'm gonna try and speed run these orders because last time when i had 40 44 orders I the video ended up being 55 minutes long which I never intended for that to happen although I will say dude 775 views on a 55 minute long video is unreal to me I sincerely thank all of y'all for all the love and support almost a thousand views on an hour long that's a movie that's a feature length film right there yo from the bottom of my heart thank you but let me get to these orders because I don't want to repeat that at least not intentionally like if it happens in this video then i mean hey it is what it is right um 
the first thing we sold is somebody bought two games oh two games off of me nhl 97 and nhl 99 and they spent a total of nine dollars and eighty cents for both of these games plus shipping of course then we have a console sale m2 the only og xbox Ugh, we sold this for 790 plus no 79.90 plus shipping this next one's an order one because it's up to oh it's right in front too this is a uh, ultimate alliance for the xbox 360 this is actually a bo and i don't know where i am with the whole bo thing because I, st I still haven't finished editing the last video and i'm like two weeks ahead or so i don't even know anymore but this is a this is a buyout order and it sold for seven dollars 90 cents plus shipping this is scalar this is like some kind of spyro the dragon clone of some sort i don't know but it sold for 990 plus shipping you know as a human we all make mistakes in life some bigger than others this mistake that i made not massive but freakishly annoying y'all know that i put all of my disc only games inside of this large case here but what y'all don't know is that i'm currently running a buy three get one free on my disc only games so basically if somebody buys three disc only games and they get to put another one in the cart and that one becomes completely free for them now the problem is i listed a bunch of disc only games to make sure i got some enough fluff you know what i'm saying a good selection for the people to choose from but guess what i did take a guess i left them at the house yes i forgot that i Ooh. okay here we go we got all the cds right here and before y'all say anything about the way that i was holding the discs i got through my little cloths here and i got this little spray right here to, to wipe it down first oh actually that reminds me somebody left a comment on a previous video asking me like what what bags do i use for all my games let me show you these ones right here i keep them in the bundle jungle well i guess it's not a bundle jungle anymore but yo do y'all keep your boxes to the stuff that you buy like do y'all just hoard boxes because i do i i can't help it but it's these ones right here i bought this giant pack that came with these four different sizes this is all in my the link in the description by the way like every single thing that i use this one here is for like the regular like the games these for like most of the games ps3 and up or right, ps2 all of that good stuff and then these ones are for like the cartridges and the ps1 games so i bought one of the four pack that just gave me like, i think i want to say it was like a hundred of each and then i bought this one by itself so this is the eight by ten and it's 200 of these because i have more like you as you can see i have more like bigger sized games than um than like ps1 games and cartridges but like i said every single thing is in the description below it's my amazon store link the late the labels that i use the towels the tape the boxes literally everything that i use is in the amazon store link in my description below okay i really need to rapid fire these because my camera has one cell battery whoa one battery cell left so i sold tomb raider disc only for 490 plus shipping gotta grab my stool that's a little too short or am i just a little too short i don't know is it this one 18 one before it huh, here we go we sold call of duty black ops 3 y'all know these are my bread and butters i sold this for 990 plus shipping this next one is a funny one um and i don't even know what is this it right here here it goes right here this these are those pens i don't know if you saw the video but i went to a thrift store and um i found a bunch of pens <laughs> these like disney pens and i got them for like two dollars and some change two dollars and 70 cents something like that and um i decided to put them up for auction for the very first time and i don't know whether or not to consider that auction a success because those sold for four dollars and 25 cents plus i think i did like 450 for shipping so i mean i might not even have profited actually after like taxes and fees i paid 275 I, they sold them for 425 so i don't know they're worth like i think some of them worth like 20 dollars or something like that i don't know i thought more people would uh bid but i got like three bids and then that was it i put all those discs away already so i have to flip through my binder in order to find this next one and um funny enough the name of the game actually is one here it goes i sold this for 490 plus shipping another reason i need to rush oh look at this is already out I, because i need to uh 
uh, make it to the post office. It's already like 3.30 p.m. They close in an hour and a half, and I have over 40 hours to pack, no, uh, packages to pack up. So I sold X-Men Legends for a 9.90 plus shipping. Then I sold Resident Evil 4, AKA the best Resident Evil for 4.90 plus shipping. Dude, low key, I think I could have got more for this game. What? Oh, it's back here. Uh, can I get it with one hand? Nah, hold on. I low key think I could have got more for this. I sold this uh, Ricky Carmichael MX 2002 game for 490 plus shipping, but some comps were saying it was going for like 15, so I don't know. We got something that I like just listed because in the 500s, 19, 20, I mean, it's down here, 21, here it goes. Yeah, we sold Gran Turismo 2 for 490 plus shipping. I'm realizing that a lot of people bought disc only games but didn't take advantage of the uh, three for one, but uh, so I sold Sonic Forces for 490 plus plus shipping. All right, I'm just gonna tuck that in. I don't know why it's still sticking out like that. Well, I guess I do know why, because I didn't put it away, but that's not what's important. I sold Grand Theft Auto 3 PS2, and this sold for 590 plus shipping. I don't think there's a um, the map in here. Okay, my battery is definitely screaming at me now. Uh, there's like a, a line through the battery saying, basically, bro, I, I got no more juice left. But I sold this for 3990 plus shipping. We're gonna keep going though until this thing cuts off on us because I don't wanna use my phone when I don't have to, you feel me? I sold 007 Nightfire for 490 plus shipping. Okay, this is throwback. I had this for so long and I'm really happy to see it gone. We sold Blob for any, well, Boy in the Blob for NES for $14.90 plus shipping. We got another buyout game here and I think somebody told me that this was actually a turn-based RPG. This is a Harry Potter game uh, and the Chamber of Secrets for $4.92. Um, this sold for $4.90 plus shipping. This is one of those surprising games that you didn't think or wouldn't think uh, would be worth as much as it is. Here it goes right here. Conflict Global Assault, no, Conflict Global Terror. This sold for $9.90 plus shipping. There goes another recently posted one. Uh, 22, 23, 4, 5, and 526 San Andreas. This is map, no manual for $5.90 plus shipping. Dang, that's it. I took her as far as I could go, but we're back on the phone. I sold these four Call of Duty games for $19.90 plus shipping. Disc only, four Call of Duty games. PS4, that's a good deal, I think. I guess I could be a little bit biased since I'm the one that made the deal, but listen, that's not what's important here, okay? I sold, nope, this one back here. Come on, let me get it. There it goes. Call of Duty, you already know my bread and butter is this actually sold for $7.90 plus shipping. I'm so glad to be getting rid of all these disc only games. For some reason, it just feels like free money. Like I feel like like all the disc only like discs were just toss ins. Um, this is seven remake and this sold for $7.90. No, $8.90 plus shipping. Another one we gotta grab the stool for. It's kind of older one back right here. 72, 73. Here it goes. Hitman for the Xbox 360. This is actually a buyout game, and this sold for $4.90 plus shipping. We got another bundle deal that I put together. These five Lego games for PS3 sold for $19.90 plus shipping. How do y'all feel about me doing them like super rapid fire like this? Not really my vibe of trying of how, how to do content, but um, it's just what I got to do right now because I'm in a super rush. Um, I sold this Star Wars game for $9.90 plus shipping. So this Mortal Kombat XL for PS4 disc only for $4.90 plus shipping. Hopefully this is still watchable for y'all. And if it ain't, then you know what? You just leave. Why are you hurting my feelings like this? This was a Grand Theft Auto San Andreas sold for $9.90 plus shipping. This is complete, complete. Another buyout game right here. Um, Destroy All Humans for PS2. This sold for $4.90 plus shipping. One of my favorite video game series, but the, actually the game that made me stop playing the series, Tony Hawk's uh, American Wasteland, because this game was just way too wild for me this sold for 690 plus shipping and we got another buyout game right here this uh assassin's creed duo pack this sold for 690 plus shipping another game that i just listed oh look at here poking out for me 530 um no wait no this <laughs> is not 534 that's the name of the, that's the okay anyway star wars battlefront 2 this sold for 790 plus shipping okay this is actually kind of hilarious this is at number um ooh, couldn't get it out for a second this is uh the dog island but the SKU number for me is 222, which is coincidentally how many clips 
the last video that I got to edit is. Oh, and this sold for 990 plus shipping. So yesterday was Indigenous People's Day and for every holiday, I run a 10% off discount code and one of the members of the community took advantage. A longtime friend and supporter of the channel, channels, my Twitch and all of that, went all out. Then we got a pretty big order. We got Dynasty Warriors 4, Kingdom Hearts, Final Fantasy 12, Bounty Hunt, or Star Wars Bounty Hunter. This was a double back that I was selling, uh, Tekken 4 and Tekken Tag Tournament. So this is three discs, buy three, get one free. They chose um, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3. So yo, my dog Corliss, thank you so much for the love and support. That's, that that was, I was not expecting that at all. You know, I'm just not realizing something. Um, some of these games sold for, <laughs> this is like a giant uh, deal that I got, like a giant bundle that I'm just trying to sell off. But some of these games sold for um, the 10% off because again, yesterday was Indigenous People's Day. Like this game, this game sold, it's telling me 490 plus shipping, but it sold with the 10 off promotion, 10% off promotion. So I don't know what, like how much it actually sold for. I don't know why eBay doesn't tell you like how much it sold for after the discount was put in. Also, also, I'm realizing that I, I'm, I've got a quite a few uh, repeat buyers um, over the weekend. We sold this for 990 plus shipping, but again, this is part of the, I don't even know how many of the previous games have was, was part of the 10% off discount, but 990 plus shipping with 10% off. I sold this copy of Black Ops 2 for 490 plus shipping. Okay, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I can't believe this sold. I sold this thing, which is like a German, um, Traveler's Clock, I think it's called. I was having difficulty getting it open. Hold on. Yeah, so it's called a German Travel Alarm Clock. And this was thrown in. One of my plugs just threw it in when I was buying some other stuff. And I got this and a bunch of cameras for $20. I'm well, 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 well into the profit on that. And this sold for $690 plus shipping. We got another buyout order down here for a $99.90. Here it goes. Uh, Call of Duty Black Ops OG sold for $490 plus shipping. Someone bought two games off me. Uh, Angry Birds Star Wars and rampage total destruction for the wii for 980 plus shipping i was a little skeptical on this selling and i'm not gonna lie i still don't really know what it is um or th that it still had use but nintendo ds browser this sold for 990 plus shipping another game that i like just listed don't you love when the stuff that you just list sells it's like one of the one of the greatest feelings oh it's right before this one here it goes 007 legends this sold for 990 plus shipping it's especially though that a lot of these um can also came from my hauls that I my most recent hauls the one um that I got both of them actually I did two off two hauls with the same person so it's super dope that that stuff is selling like really fast I get my money back fast speaking of I believe this is another game from that same haul off of that dude oh it's in the back back here here it goes 528 and this sold for 790 plus shipping and that's it that's everything I gotta get all of this stuff packed up and shipped out and bruh so oh wait wait no 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 this one one more one more this one is like special honestly it's really difficult to hold all this in hand but somebody saw my most recent video on my main channel and then dm'd me on instagram like yo i saw some things that i really really want can we work out a deal for it i was like yeah sure i didn't even get a chance to go through it yet but sure they picked out like all i yeah like all my coleco vision atari games this gyrus box and um so man i threw in an extra manual i think it's like a coleco vision console manual or something like that but they wanted the space panic manual um and they bought all this off me for a 40 dollars plus shipping straight through paypal so you gotta worry about like all those ebay fees and stuff like that and like yo if y'all ever see anything that you ever want in one of my videos don't be afraid um my socials are always in my description as well as the uh my um all of my like everything that i use the amazon store i got like stuff in the description make sure you guys check the descriptions of all my videos it's always there and every single last one of them um, i got a lot of stuff to pack up y'all know this and i'm gonna catch you on the next one bye bye